ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome to season three of Modern Warfare 3. By no means is this going to be my full review of the season. I got a late start today. I had a bunch of things happening outside the office, so I didn't really get to experience too much of season three so far here on day one. But I did get to jump into the new multiplayer maps. I got to mess around with the new guns, mostly in a private match, and I got to try out Rebirth Island, which I will be discussing here in this video today. First things first, has anyone else been having this wicked issue since the season dropped where Packet Burst is back? and it's worse than ever like I don't know if it's every time they do a major update or what but it just seems to really break the servers to the point where the game kind of almost feels unplayable at times like I can handle a little bit of packet burst I've been dealing with it throughout the entirety of the Modern Warfare 3 life cycle but today it just felt really bad which is unfortunate because I'm trying to experience the new maps like Emergency and Six Star Grow House and even jumping in Rebirth Island and I'm having a hard time doing that because I feel like the servers are actively fighting me not to mention the matchmaking algorithm them but let's start with this right here emergency right this is another one of those what i would call meat grinder maps here within cod and the spawns are absolutely horrific so far in my limited experience like the map itself is very fast paced which i know a lot of people like that that's why they keep bringing back all the old maps like rust and shipment and adding in things like stash house and dos house coming back like they know that fans like those fast paced multiplayer maps they just want to level up their guns do their challenges level up their character do stuff like that i get it but this map spawns definitely need to be addressed like in this match right here you can see people typing in the game chat like what is happening with the spawns right here and then later on in that same match I ended up getting a sentry gun I placed it in the corner on the outside area because there's definitely a lot of traffic there typically right and it spawned me on my sentry gun which automatically killed us like it was pretty freaking crazy but again very fast paced map if you're the kind of person that likes to run around and try to get quick scope kills or use submachine guns shotguns pistols and things like like that this map seems pretty damn perfect for it and just given the nature that's a very fast-paced close quarters map i have a feeling a lot of fans are really going to enjoy it but again the map just came out today and we're going to have to see how it withstands the test of time next up we have six star which this map is absolutely gorgeous i've seen people making comparisons to raid and i definitely see that right certain parts of the map kind of give you that raid vibe and then the inside area kind of reminds me of plaza from black ops 2 as well the music's not nearly as good the i'm gonna try it out song was iconic back in the day but so far with six star I think the map's all right. Like, I don't know. I'm yet to really figure out the flow of this map so far. Whether I'm playing Team Deathmatch, Hardpoint, Dom, I just always feel like I'm running in the wrong direction or I'm looking in the wrong direction. I don't think it's an ant farm map by any stretch of the imagination. It's just one of those maps that might take a little bit of getting used to. And so far, I tend to not do too well on this map. I had a couple of nice kill streaks, but in general, I think this map is going to take a bit longer for me to actually learn and understand. But again, beautiful freaking map. A bit nostalgic, even though it's new. It kind of has that raid vibe and that plaza vibe so definitely excited to keep on playing this map next up we have grow house now this map is in the standard rotation but does not currently have a dedicated playlist like emergency and six star do they're apparently going to be adding in a grow house playlist next week so i jumped into a private match just to run around this is a remake of a map that we had back in vanguard and while i was in here i got to try out the new submachine gun which is actually in the game files classified as a pistol and i can kind of see why it kind of just feels like a machine pistol more than a submachine gun but of course that is is on the battle pass and then you have the moore's sniper rifle which feels really damn good again i'm facing recruit bots i have a massive amount of packet burst even in private match for some reason again every single update just seems to add so much packet burst to the game then eventually it gets better and it gets sorted out over time but yeah the new moore's feels incredible i'm seeing so many people using it in online multiplayer matches it's freaking everywhere pretty much and i've seen so many clips on twitter as well reddit i mean people are just tearing things up with the sniper it feels really good and honestly it might become a problem as more members of the community get access to it by leveling through the battle pass so overall multiplayer has been feeling pretty good again it's a pretty big update if you think about the fact that there's a new submachine gun a new sniper three multiplayer maps like there's a good amount of things to do a new event starts tomorrow the new battle pass is out and of course season three reloaded is going to bring even more content to the game so season three in terms of content is pretty awesome in terms of matchmaking and packet burst however has not been feeling pretty awesome but one thing that is great however is going back to re Rebirth Island. Now, I know for so many COD fans, they consider this to be Rebirth Island, but for me, I still think of it as Alcatraz from Blackout and Black Ops 4. I freaking love it, man. I only had time to jump in and play one match, but I think I got like 
16, 17, 18 kills, something like that in that one match, playing with complete strangers. Every person in here is a non-prestige, for crying out loud, which really does go to show the popularity that Warzone has. There's so many people that just download and play the game because it's free, although this dude's like level 35 and he bought the Lilith skin, for crying out loud. Like This is the kind of person I think that Activision is catering towards, but yeah, Rebirth Island feels incredible. It just It's one of those things, man. Like I know Rebirth Island because I know Alcatraz. I remember Alcatraz, and it just has so much nostalgia when I play on it. Definitely enjoying that aspect of it, man. I honestly might end up playing a lot of Rebirth Island with this season just because it does take me back to the good old days of Blackout. You guys have seen countless videos from me talking about the good old days of Blackout and how much I enjoyed that map and that game mode and how I really feel like if Blackout got the Warzone treatment, it would have been massive. You know, Blackout was basically a testing ground for Warzone. Hell, Alcatraz Island was a testing ground for Warzone because it eventually came back as Rebirth Island. You know what I mean? If Blackout would have been free to play and cross platform, my goodness, it would have been incredible. Like just think of the little things that Blackout did, like having all the different characters that you could unlock in Blackout, having a separate leveling system in Blackout, and then skins you got for leveling up and prestiging within Blackout. Like there were so many good things about that game mode. And when I play Rebirth Island, whether I'm playing with my friends or jumping in with randoms, doesn't matter. It kind of takes me back to when COD was a bit simpler, back before the Warzone era and when that started taking over everything that has to do with COD. So yeah, Rebirth Island feels pretty damn good so far honestly you guys know me i'm a multiplayer channel but i as, as someone who just wants to play the game i think i'm gonna be playing a lot of rebirth island here with season three but also the multiplayer like i want to learn more about emergency i hope they fix the spawns on that map i want packet purse to get fixed i'm excited to play more six star and then crow house i mean we've played it before technically it's just a remaster but that's also there in the rotation as well so overall it feels pretty good season three just because there's so many new things to do and in the coming days here after i get more experience under my belt when I really start to master the maps and I unlock the new guns and get to level them up and probably get interstellar for them and things like that. I'll do a proper review, but for right now, this is more of just a content overview of everything that was added today with season three, kind of like my early first impressions of everything. And also keep in mind when it comes to the new submachine gun and when it comes to the more sniper rifle, if you don't want to like grind through the battle pass or anything, but you do have a friend that either already grinded it or purchased it, whatever the case may be, if you guys jump into zombies together, have them drop you the guns, then you exit fill then you have the guns unlocked and you don't even have to wait to get them via the battle pass i end up doing that pretty much every single season whenever i stream myself doing that like when i'm going through and just playing the game and streaming people are like wait you can do that it's like yeah man you've been able to do that since like the dmz days of modern warfare 2 so just something to bear in mind if you want to get the new guns and take them into the brand new multiplayer maps or hell even try them out in warzone because every single time a new gun comes out somehow it's the new meta in warzone every single time i don't know it's the hype content you guys know how it goes but guys that is it for this video here today I hope you enjoyed it. Leave your thoughts and feedback on Season 3 so far down there in the comments. Again, a full review will be coming, and I'll be covering everything that's going to be coming out with future updates and everything like that. So stay tuned. Be sure to subscribe if you're new around here, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.